All right, guys, so I'm here in Brooklyn right now, in New York City, and over on 86th Street and 4th Avenue, there was a Wendy's, right? I was just walking down the street, and I was like, hey, $5 biggie bag. This sounds interesting, you know, because I, I love it when things are $5, right? All right, so I ordered their diet, their junior bacon cheeseburger, and it comes with the, the stuff that comes with the biggie stuff and the barbecue sauce. So let's see what's inside the bag. All right. And, and by the way, this is Wendy. Meet Wendy, guys. She's the one that says $5. It's pretty good. All right. I, don't wonder, I wonder what happened to Dave. This, didn't this used to be a picture of Dave? I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. We have... It's looking pretty good, guys. I'm going to take it out and show you. All right. Now, over here is the contents of such bag. All right. They have, uh, well, it says hamburger on it, but it better not be. I ordered the junior bacon. All right. Now, uh, notice how you can hide Wendy's eyes like, you know, hey, don't look, baby. Don't look. Turn away. You know what? This is really creepy, actually. This is just her head. What is what's going on here? Who designed this wrapper? Anyway, I used to work at Burger King and I used to do the burger wrapping, right? Where it's very simple, guys, right? You put the burger in the center, fold once, fold twice, bam, 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 right? And that's how I used to wrap the Whopper. All right, so we got uh, four pieces of nuggets. I do not know why he gave me two BBQ sauces. That's rather generous of them today. Maybe one for the fries. And we got some Wendy's fries. Now, notice in the back of the t-shirt, right? It says no lies. It's like, but that's plural. So that actually can apply to a situation where there's only one lie, you know, a singular lie. You know, forget, forget it. All right, let's eat, let's eat. So first, we're going to try one of these here nuggets. Mmm. Mmm, it's good, guys. Mmm. It's juicy. Mmm. It's like packed full of flavors. Like they injected a flavor solution inside of something. Mmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to dip it in the barbecue sauce. And now, the fries. I'll tell you the truth, guys. It's hard to beat McDonald's fries when it comes to fast food. I'm, I'm sorry, McDonald's is like the, you know, the king of fries. But this one comes with uh, potato skin. I'm guessing. Okay. Now for the most important part, the sandwich. We got bread, tomato, lettuce, two pieces of bacon, a piece of cheese, and what the heck is this, guys? This is such a small beef patty. It's like, isn't Wendy the people who, with the commercial that says, where's the beef? You uh, know, yeah. with, with the three old ladies, where's the beef? How dare they make a beef patty this small? Where's the beef, Wendy's? Where's the beef? I mean, like, here's the beef, but it's just not very big at all. All right. Cheers, guys.
Tastes you know pretty good. Give me a, give me a I'll give this a seven and a half <laughs> out of ten. The nuggets, also a seven and a half out of ten. The fries, a six out of ten. With uh, in comparison, McDonald's is usually a uh, like an eight or a nine, right? But if it gets soggy, then maybe six. But these, even if they're hot and fresh, and most would be like a seven and a half. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. You have a good one. The question that I get every now and then is that, hey, are you a medic? Right? Now, I'm not going to be like, well, I'm, the channel is called Danny the Medic. I say, hey, it's Danny the Medic. It will be a little weird if I wasn't a medic. But then again, you know, it's a fair question because some people, you know, have like strange names for no reason. And that's understandable, right? But yes, I am a medic. But before we move on, I must first explain what is a medic, all right? Now, a medic is anyone that comes running towards you when you scream, medic, 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 right? And they come running towards you uh, and is able to help, all right? Not just like the, uh, the TikToker with the phone, you know, medic, oh my God, and they're running towards you with the phone. No, that's not the medic. The medic is the guy that went towards you and also is able to help and does help. All right, so that's a medic. All right, now, people tend to confuse uh, uh, the term medic with paramedic, right? Now, paramedic is a specific provider level in the EMS system, emergency medical services, right? So in EMS, there's four national levels, the emergency medical responder, emergency medical technician, advanced emergency medical technician, and paramedic, paramedic being the highest level. I happen to be a paramedic. And before that, I was an EMT. You know, like, but that's within the realm of emergency medical services, you know, such as ambulance, you know, like stretcher, you know, etc., etc., stuff like that. So there, that, that is a difference, right? Now, when I work as a medic, not paramedic, right, it is outside the EMS system providing uh first aid and help with uh, injuries and illnesses and that sort of thing in uh, private venues and stuff like that. So as of late, right, uh, the corona pandemic had taken a lot of people who were formerly working in EMS into the uh, corona care field. You got the vaccine administrators, uh, standby emergency response to respond to like uh, COVID hotels where they put COVID people and, you know, they have uh, COVID testers, right? COVID compliance officers, you know, like it, it, it was just a big boom in the work in the, in the pre-hospital medical community. But getting back to uh, the question I get, yes, I am a medic. I'm a paramedic, New York State certified paramedic, a nationally certified paramedic. I'm also an EMS instructor here in the state of New York. And uh, yeah, I've been doing it for like over a decade. It's uh, fun stuff, you know, everything like that is great, man. You see stuff you never ever get to see anywhere else. But anyway, so I hope that answers the question. I better get out of this ambulance before they catch me and, you know, call the cops.